Time to cook some fish. I'm going to cook a fish that I caught out on Lake Michigan. This is uh, a lake trout that uh, I froze and um, unfroze most of it. We'll wash it off and that'll unfreeze the rest of it. But uh, I'm gonna show you the process that I do when I go grilling a fish on the Weber Spirit E310. All right, so now we're gonna take the fish out. And uh, one side seems to be unfrozen, the other side still seems to be frozen. So I'm gonna just rip open the bag here. And let's just rinse off whatever we have. And that should take care of most of the frozenness of the fish. Uh, this fish was actually caught during one of my, my trips out on, on uh, a charter boat. Okay, so as you see, we actually have uh, two fillets here, and uh, there are some sections here that I think probably won't taste as good because it is uh, darker, and they find that usually the darker section of the fish usually is not the greatest, so I'm going to actually just take that right out of here. These fish actually have pin bones in there, so you really want to remove that before serving, and actually before you actually even cook it, it's actually the best thing to do. But out of necessity of time, I'm just going to inspect the fish to see how we look here. Everything looks pretty decent up to this point. So I'm just going to get off the sections that I don't think are going to come out too good. Get rid of that stuff. It doesn't have to look pretty. I mean, this is just for me and for my wife if she wants any. She typically doesn't eat the fish. Somehow it just becomes mine all the time. And that's perfectly fine with me. Okay, so I think we're good here. So I'm going to give it uh, one more rinsing. All right. That's good. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to dry the fish off. I'll use a couple paper towels here. I'm going to push down on here to kind of get all the moisture off of it. I don't really want to steam the fish on the grill. I want to actually grill the fish. So getting the moisture out is important. We use a lot of paper towels as an unfortunate part of all this, but it will make it better. Okay, so that should be pretty good. Wash my hands off a little bit here. Use some more paper towels. <laughs> it's always the case. I'm gonna get uh, I'm gonna get some Old Bay. Old Bay seems to work pretty good with most of seafood this is uh, old bay seasoning this is the stuff that uh, a lot of people have used this before i'm sure you're familiar with it but i'm just going to season this up put a little bit of old bay on here i'll put it on both of these and there's different ways you can cook fish but i find this to be relatively easy to do it's almost like putting a rub when you're doing smoking <laughs> so put that over there that should be good. Now let's do the final side here. Sounds like I'm running low on the old bay here, but that's okay. I have a whole bunch more. I can refill that. In fact, I think I'm going to have to do that right now. Okay, I wasn't kidding when I said I have old bay. I have a bunch of old bay. So uh, <laughs> let's refill this thing. I mean, actually, you don't have to even refill it. You could really just shake it from out of here. Just remove all this, throw everything in the sink, clean it up later. Isn't that how it's always done? I don't know. That's how I do it. Okay, there is a shaker here. So let's do this properly. And just shake on some Old Bay from here. You don't want to overdo this stuff. This It can get a little too much, in my opinion. All right, we're good. There's our old bay. <laughs> okay, I'm actually gonna use a different type of uh, fish basket than I have in the past. So this one my wife bought for me. This is actually a little larger, which would probably be good for the two of them. But before I use it, I've already washed it down. I'm gonna spray it with some vegetable oil and that'll keep it from sticking. So we'll spray both sides on the inside here. That'll help it quite a bit. I just usually spray this right into the sink and then I just rinse out the sink. So let's just put it together first before I do that. So I'm going to take the fish, stick it in there. 
Get the other fillet, we'll stick it in here. Close the basket up. We'll kind of center this off a little bit better here. And we're ready to put it on. <laughs> it's pretty easy actually. Got to rinse out the sink. Can't just leave it as it is. So we'll rinse that out. And it never hurts to scrub it down a little bit. Okay, I think we're ready. We're gonna head outside. Okay, let me show you guys real quickly what we do. We just simply put this rack right here, close the lid. We've already preheated the grill, and believe it or not, that's it. <laughs> that is it. That is it. So we're gonna come back. I'm gonna check on the uh, the fish after a certain amount of time has gone by. I'm gonna check it by temperature. So once the temperature reaches the proper internal temperature, then we're finished. We're gonna flip it in between as well. Okay, let me show you real quickly what I'm gonna to use to check my temperature. I actually have this Thermalworks Thermapen Mark IV, and uh, this thing actually will check our temperature perfectly. Uh, one little touch on, on the inside of the fish is gonna tell me exactly what the internal temperature is. We're gonna shoot for 140 degrees. But uh, just for kicks, we've only had this thing in there for maybe two minutes. I'm just going to check it real quickly just to see what the temperature comes out to be. So checking internal temperature right now, this is basically just starting out. We are at 29 degrees Fahrenheit. This small one's going to cook up a lot faster. This is actually already at 90 degrees. Temperature is going to change throughout the time. I'm just going to check it every now and then. But again, we're going to shoot for 140 degrees. And once it hits 140 degrees, we're finished. So it's actually very fast. And then somewhere in between, we'll flip it. Okay, it's time to flip. I'm just going to lift that up. Flip this over. See how hard that is? <laughs> it's the easiest way to cook, I'm telling you. We'll come back and check it again later. Okay, it's time to check my internal temperatures. So I'm just going to flip this open here. Pull out the thermopen. We're at 80 degrees, 85, 144, <laughs> 145. That one's actually done, but I'm going to give it a flip. I'm going to leave it on for just a little bit longer, and then I'm going to take that small one out of there. But that's basically how we do it. Okay, it's time to check some temps again. I'm going to open this up one more time. And according to this, we are done with the small guy. 150s, 146. The big one, just for kicks, we're at 103, 101, 112. So now we gotta take this one on out. I'm just gonna remove it this way. Hopefully, if we're lucky, we don't uh, demolish it. <laughs> Whoops, there we go. We kind of lost that guy. Here, here's how we fix that. Let me show you how that's done. So you stick this in right here. Slide this over like this. Nobody knows anything, right? I'll get rid of that, too. <laughs> Look at that. Looks just as good. Well, close. We'll close the basket back up and of course this is hot so you got to be careful I'm gonna flip it one more time we'll let that one keep going it's gonna take a little bit of time okay it's time once again to double check our temperatures and uh, we should try to hit 140 degrees we're at 136 we're very close 144 on this side 138, 142. I'm going to call this thing done. 149 on this side. Yeah, I'm going to call it done. Depending on where we hit, the temperature keeps changing. So we are finished. So I'm going to shut this thing down. Let's take it out of the basket. This one's a little tougher to do because it's got this... Uh, safety here all right 
We're not going to mess this one up. Let's see if we can do this one right. There we go. We'll hide the one that's broken. Nobody will know. <laughs> there we have it. This is the finished product. Looks good. I'm sure it's going to taste decent too. So we'll go inside. We'll give it a try. All right, let's give this a try and see if this is any good. So I'm going to try the... Uh, I'm going to try the smaller one since it's already broken off. Try a little bit of this. And I see a couple pin bones in here because I didn't remove those few pieces there. So we'll take that out. Not too bad. Could be better. Yeah, it's not too bad. You get a chance to go out fishing. Catch your own fish, make your own fish. Doesn't take that much effort as you can see. A lot more rewarding when you're cooking your own stuff too. See you guys next time.